Zahawi is sacked as the Conservative Party chairman after an investigation into his tax affairs found he'd committed a serious breach of the ministerial code. The former Chancellor releases a response praising his time in government, attacking the media and offering Rishi Sunak his full support from the backbench. When I became Prime Minister last year, I pledged that the government I lead would have integrity, professionalism and accountability at every level. Following the completion of the independent advisor's investigation, the findings of which he has shared with us both, it is clear that there has been a serious breach of the ministerial code. As a result, I have informed you of my decision to remove you from your position in His Majesty's government. Well, not long after that, Nadeem Zahawi himself said, it has been after being blessed with my loving family, the privilege of my life to serve in successive governments and make what I believe to have been a tangible difference to the country I love. I arrived in this country fleeing persecution and speaking no English. I built a successful business and served in some of the highest offices in government. I believe that in no other country on earth would my story be possible. He goes on this letter to say, I'm concerned, however, about the conduct from some of the fourth estate in recent weeks. In a week when a member of parliament was physically assaulted, I failed to see how one headline on this issue, the noose titans, reflects legitimate scrutiny of public officials. He finishes the letter by saying, you can be assured of my support from the back benches in the coming years. Your five priorities are, he says, the right priorities. And I'll do whatever I can to help you deliver them. Uh, I think it's in everyone's interest that the matter is concluded as quickly as possible. Uh, but it's also the case that you know, when you've got someone specifically appointed to be independent, then me providing a running commentary sure. on, on, on the timing and so on could be misconstrued. Understood. Reading um, Sir Laurie Magnus's report into Nadeem Zahawi, you can be left in no doubt why the Prime Minister uh, acted so quickly this morning after getting that report. It, this doesn't just detail an inadvertent breach or one small breach. These are multiple uh, breaches of the ministerial code stretching back over a couple of years. It was in April 2021 the report states that Nadim Zahawi first had interactions with HMRC about this um, unpa unpaid tax bill of potentially um, millions of pounds. He then met with them in June 2021. Now that makes it even more curious why uh, throughout that period of time, Nadim Zahawi had been quite bullish in his responses to stories about his financial affairs, stating that he wasn't aware of any sort of HMRC um, investigation. Now, he claims that he didn't realise it was a full inquiry or a full investigation. He thought he was just assisting with queries. But it was last year, while serving as Chancellor and whilst running to be Prime Minister, that Nadim Zahawi was asked about this um, on Sky News. And this is what he said. For Rishi Sunak to answer, why did Rishi Sunak say in Parliament that all questions around Mr Zahawi's tax affairs had been answered when we now know that Mr Zahawi had been negotiating a multi-million pound settlement on his tax affairs and indeed paying a penalty? And why also do we see a Prime Minister who seems to be keen to prop up a rogues gallery of Conservative ministers? So that was obviously not Nadeem Zahawi, that's Annalise Dodd speaking for Labour. Labour questioning Rishi Sunak's judgement um, in all of this and essentially why Rishi Sunak didn't act faster, uh, quicker to sack Nadeem Zahawi when it became clear that he'd had to pay an HMRC tax penalty um, while Chancellor. Uh, now I think Nadeem Zahawi's response today is quite extraordinary as well. He uh, essentially didn't apologise, he didn't admit um, any errors um, at all, uh, blaming part of the media or accusing some of the media of reporting this in an irresponsible way. I think given uh, the seriousness and given the number of breaches that are detailed in this report, it's hard to see Nadeem Zahawi rehabilitating his frontline political career, but I think the broader danger for Rishi Sunak is for a Prime Minister that was pledging a new age of integrity when he came into office. Uh, this is all a very unwelcome row and a distraction from some of the bigger priorities around cost of living in the NHS that the government wants to be focusing on.